And it was just crazy because when I was telling somebody the story, they were like, you literally said, sir, if you want to kidnap me, this is your moment. And I'm like, yeah, I wasn't even thinking about what I was saying when I said it. And it's just so stupid. Hi guys, pretty much ready for work. I'm gonna show you guys how I outline my little brows that I do have. I'm ready to go, really. Let me get the pencil and stuff. So, um, I have this little average pencil that I get from the store that I work at. And because my brows are already pretty much outlined, let me just um, put some Aveeno on my face. Because sometimes my face has like some dry patches here and there because of my eczema. So my Aveeno is the only moisturizer that I use on my face. So I do that. And then I really start going in with the pencil. I don't really do much. I just go with what's already there. I don't go crazy and like draw some other lines and stuff. Pretty much work with what I have. And it looks pretty natural. There's probably some person who's going to find this video one day. And be like, oh my gosh, Janine, thank you. So, if you're that person, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm a mess right now. The front, I kind of do it up. Because that's really how that part of my brows go. And then, boom! It's time to um use my little concealer. I'm cutting it so close right now. I've been here all morning, but I've pretty much been productive because I was like transferring some files on my computer and I edited a few videos and stuff. So when it comes to like outlining my brows, I don't have to do much because I was already working with what is there, which is not much. And then I'm pretty much just outlining what is there. And I groomed my brows this morning, so there's no nothing crazy that I'm going to need to like outline and to make sure, oh, that's perfect or whatever. No, just because I already used my brow, my, my nair to like groom them. And then now I'm pretty much filling in what I groomed. So it's pretty easy for me. I don't do too much. I don't like when they're too dark. So the pencil I use is like a natural one. I mean, I've seen people do theirs dark and it looks cute, but that's probably just not for me. One of my brows are a little bit thicker than one. Um, it has always been that way. And they're cousins, they're not sisters. They don't need to be identical, okay? And then I pretty much put some mascara on and I like to spray some setting spray after this just to like keep my face, keep things in place pretty much. Um, when I go to work, I'm going to use out one of the tester setting sprays to like go over what I already have going on here. It's raining outside. Damn, I probably shouldn't have done all this because it's raining and on the days where it's raining, it's just like, oh my gosh. There's going to be a slow day at work today. Well, I hope not. But on rainy days, it kind of um, is a little bit slower than the other days. And it is raining right now. So I don't do too much with nothing that I wear. I'm going to put some of my, um, my setting spray on now. But I'm also going to put some on at work. The testers. Girl, I don't even know this brand. Absolute New York. Spray it on. Fan it out and allow it to dry. And then I'm going to be ready to go. 
and then I'm pretty much gonna be ready to go I need to get a new one but um that's pretty much all I do with my brows and stuff I'm about to leave I'm gonna go see what's going on with my computer put my pants on because I literally have no pants on right now <laughs> just my shirt and I'm gonna go it is a rainy day and <laughs> this is me leaving out earlier than I need to well not earlier than I need to just a little bit earlier because it's raining um <laughs> the other night I was going home and I saw a car pulling up next to me so when I saw the car I was passing like a driveway like that so I thought maybe it's their yard and they need to pull in the driveway so I was like hustling past the um, driveway. So if that was the case, they could pass. So when did already? So um, I passed and then I realized that the guy, somebody came out of the car and he was walking <laughs> towards me. Now that night I was so tired and I, you know, by default without even thinking or anything I turned around and I was like sir listen if this is you trying to kidnap me now is your chance please just grab me and go because what we're not gonna do is have you walking beside me trying to talk all types of shit that's the yard with the dogs trying to talk all types of shit like so if that's the aim just grab me and let's go and another guy in the car was laughing I'm telling you I was so tired. It's like when you're tired, you do dumb shit. So um he was like, "You don't remember me?" And I'm like, "No. I don't pay that much attention to remember somebody like that." And he was like, "You were the feisty girl from the store. I went to the grocery store and <laughs> there were some plantains and I didn't like how they looked and I was like, "Oh, these just look dipped. Like they're not naturally ripe." And um <laughs> so it was him from the store <laughs> there's a guy back there looking at me so it was him from the store and he i was like oh that's you first of all i don't even know how he noticed me from like behind or anything which wasn't even the point <laughs> at the moment so i'm like oh hey and he was like could you stop a little bit and i'm like no like if you want to talk walk and talk but i'm not stopping and he was like could we, could we exchange numbers? And I'm like, no. He's like, so how are we gonna talk? First of all, I'm not the one who wants to talk. Secondly, I'm not interested in talking. I'm like, sir, you gotta see me how you saw me last in the store when I decide to come to the store. I'm not giving you my number. I don't wanna talk that bad. I don't wanna talk, period. And it was just crazy because when I was telling somebody the story, they were like, you literally said, sir, if you want to kidnap me, this is your moment. And I'm like, yeah, I wasn't even thinking about what I was saying when I said it. And it's just so stupid that I even said that. Anyways, I'm obviously headed to work. I'm probably almost there by this. Oh, I'm going to go because it's lightly raining. The leaves are everywhere. Um, later, I was also trying to eat lunch before I left because I start at 1. So if I ate it like sometime after 12, I could go through my shift and not be hungry or pretty much just snack on what I have in my bag. But that didn't happen because I was fighting with my MacBook to like transfer some files to my external hard drive which was taking forever and I was also trying to transfer some vlog footage from this morning to the MacBook 2 and that too was just moving dumb so I had to just leave the thing there and to know that when I go back later I'm gonna like transfer it just because it was bugging out but that's what I've pretty much done all morning um edit vlogs transfer footage and pretty much messed around <sighs> but for the most part it was like a productive morning because 
some of the stuff that I had set out to do when I woke up, I actually did get those done. And now it's time for work. Later when I leave, it's gonna be dark because I don't leave until like 7.30, 8 o'clock. I also need to tell my supervisor because there are these random days where um, like I should get off at probably 7.30 and she's like, oh, um, could you just stay until 8 o'clock? And I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. But I actually need to make sure she remembers to add my hours like add the half an hour that you asked me to stay because ain't nobody out here working for free but um i feel like i've talked enough i'm about to go i feel like i'm also gonna end this vlog here too because once i'm leaving it's gonna be a little dark so bye y'all thank you guys for watching as usual and i'll see you guys in my next video